in Matthew chapter what, 18 and verse 19. He That's said, good. if two of you in the earth shall touch and agree on anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them by the Father which is in heaven. Now that's a promise that we can all stand on. We can get into the prayer of agreement and cause things to happen in our lives. So yeah. we can see that's a real that's a real promise from God. And it's still working today. But the problems that we have is we don't know what belongs to us already. And so we are asking for something that is already ours. Healing belongs to you. You don't have to get in agreement with somebody and ask somebody to get in agreement that you are healed. No, you have to decree and claim your healing. You have to take it by faith and by force because Satan is trying to steal it from you. Hello, everybody. Good morning to everybody. And God bless you this morning. And welcome to Healing School. Healing School is the place where people come to hear and to be healed. Healing School is the place what people come to hear and to be healed. Are you going to listen this morning? Because if you do, we know you're going to hear something that you need to hear. You're going to find out something that you did not know. There are many people ask the question, uh, how come I'm not healed? Well, that's an easy question. It's something that you don't know. And when you don't know, you don't know. You cannot receive the benefit of what you don't know. But dear friend, Jesus said, by his stripes, you were healed. And you are healed. You born again? How many of you out there born again? You saved. Listen, I want you to know you are the healed. We're going to really get into this thing this morning. So get your Bibles, grab pen and paper. And remember, you can always go back to the podcast and hear the same message again. And I'm sure around the world, you're going to want to do just that once you find out what's going on here in healing school this morning. Amen? All right. We are talking about this morning, decree your healing and your finances. Decree your healing and your finances. Now, we're going to talk about the healing part this morning, if we're led by the Spirit of God to, to hit the financial part, we'll do that too. But I want to look at the healing part here because this is what you need to know. Good morning, Prophet. Good morning, and Apostle and everyone joining us this morning. We are so happy that you are joining us. Amen. Praise God. Amen. All right, we can begin. Praise the Lord. Well, today we're talking about decree your healing and your finances. And in our introductory, in our opening, we want to say this. Those who follow the decree and declare formula make such statements as this. I decree and declare that I am healed mm. from sickness. Or I decree and declare that my family is healthy and well provided for. Mm -hmm. Asking God for these things in prayer is replaced by decreeing them into existence. Now, let's pause there for a second. Read that last part again. Asking God for things in prayer is replaced by decreeing those things to happen or decreeing them into existence. Now, Prophet, let's talk about this for a second. Yes, sir. Many people don't know that. So what do they do? They beg mm -hmm. God. 
They beg him. Oh, Lord, please. Oh, God, please. Please, Lord, do it for me. Do it by hook or crook. Just do it. Here's what they don't know. They already have it. Are you listening to me? You already have it. Now, let me ask you a question here. Can you receive something that you already have? No. It's already done. So why would you be asking for something that you already have? It's already been done. Jesus made this statement. He said, by his stripes, you were healed. Isaiah said it this way. First Peter 2 and 20, uh, what is it? 2 and 24 mm -hmm. said, by his stripes, you what? You were healed. Mm -hmm. In Isaiah chapter, what is it? 53 and verse 4 and 5. But he was wounded. For our transgression, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace, watch this, was upon him. It was on him. And by his stripes, we are what? Healed. We are healed. By his stripes, pay attention to words, by his stripes, we are healed. We're not trying to get healed. No, 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 no. We are already healed. What do you say, prophet? I believe that. By the stripes of Jesus, well, we know that, Apostle, because we know that we can make that decree with much more confidence. Yes. We can decree that our bodies are healed. We can decree that we are healthy because we know the source of it. We know where it's coming from. And so to say something you know, to make a decree like that, some people might say, well, you know, that's wishful thinking, but it is not. It no. is the promise of God. Amen. And that's it is right. because of the word of God that we can make it and, and make it very confidently and speak it with force and authority. But when we approach God in doubt, you know, that's what, what, you know, we always say, when you doubt, you must do what? You no, will wow. go without. That's right. And so we have no doubt that when we make a, a statement like that, I like this because, you know, let me go back to the this first opening and let me read it the way it, some people might say it. They might say, I decree and declare that I will be healed. Listen, you don't decree and declare that something will be. You decree and declare that it is right now. Come on. You, listening? you don't you decree. You don't decree that I will be healthy. Because that's putting it off into the future. When you make a declaration and you decree something, you call it into existence immediately. Yes. You are decreeing those things to happen. You are declaring, decreeing, and calling for it to show up instantly. So we oftentimes get, you know, our words caught up sometimes like that. We mean well, but sometimes it comes out like, you know, like I will be healed and I will be healthy. No. I declare and decree that I am healed. I declare and decree that my family oh, is healed. Good. I declare and decree that I am prosperous. Even if you don't see a nickel in the bank, listen, if hmm. you don't see any money at all, that's what ties us, it throws us for a loop because in the natural, that's the way we walk. That's the way we talk. We, we call it, some people say, let's call a spade a spade. Let's, you know, say it like it is. That's, hmm. You know, be, some people say, come on, man, let's be real about it. Come on. Let's just come on down to earth. And be. We don't want to come down to earth and be real about it. We want to be spiritual about it. Are you listening? You want to be spiritual about it. And when you're spiritual about it, you want to go up. Now, come down. You want to deal from your seat in, the, in, in, your, in your seat in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Don't you know that you are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus? If you are born again and you are born again. You are a new creature in Christ. All things have passed away and all things have become new. I shared this in our, in our uh, prayer sessions during the week. And we have to pay attention to that. 
you know, when you're a spirit man, when you got born again and received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, your body didn't get healed, get, didn't get saved. Your spirit man got saved. And now your born again, recreated human spirit must be leading your path now, even as you walk this earth. So in the in the natural, we probably came up all our days saying, I will be, or I am going to be, or I pray that I will get. When you become born again, your spirit man will lead you. Let him lead you because he's being, he's the one that's on the inside of you. And he's the one that's being, you know, showing you the way things happen in the heavens. Right. Are you listening? He's the one that's on the inside of you, showing you how things happen in the kingdom of God. The Bible says we are in this world. Come on. You know that Bible scholars, we are in this world, but we are not what? We're not, of, We're not of this world. And so what does that mean? My body is here. I was born here. Came out of the womb, just like everybody else. And, you know, all the rest of that goes into the same, same. We all go into that same path that we were born uh, once, but now we have to be born again. And so when that new birth happens, you don't just get born again in the spirit. No, you have to now live according to the spirit. You remember that? Now we don't walk according to the flesh. Now we must walk according to the spirit. And you got to let the spirit lead you. You got to crucify your flesh. You have to bring that flesh under subjection to the word of God. And if you do that, the spirit on the inside, the born again, recreated spirit of God will show you just how to speak. Because we speak, we've been speaking what we've seen. You know, the Bible even say this. God called those things, come on, that be not as though they were. Come on, as though they already are. Yeah. And so the Holy Spirit now and your spirit will teach you how to do the same thing. And that's, that's all right. this is. That's all this is. So we are being led by the spirit to declare and decree what we want. We don't have to beg for it. It is ours. Healing belongs to you. Are you listening? That's right. It belongs to you because of what Jesus did. But if you don't declare and decree that it is yours now, you know, Satan's going to continue to steal. The Bible says he's a thief. You know, he comes to rob, kill, steal, and destroy. And if you allow him to hold on to what belongs to you, he'll do that. He's a deceiver. He's a deceiver, guys. Y'all know that. He is a deceiver. Don't right. let him deceive you any longer. So that's my take on that, Apostle. We need to stop saying, I will be healed. I, my family will be healthy. No, I am healed. My family is present tense. And when you say that, guess what? You're pulling that. You're pulling that with your heart's desire out of the kingdom of heaven. You're pulling yes. it out of the kingdom and it will manifest down here in the earth. But that's if we crazy. keep speaking according to our flesh, the way we were raised up according to, you know, that's how we were raised in the earth. Mm-hmm. They call it, they, they say, calling a spade a spade, calling it like you see it. Let's be real about it. You know, that's what they say, because that's all they know. They came up, you know, with that kind of um, vocabulary and those kind of words, because that's all the flesh can relate to. Yeah. But you have someone living on the inside of you right now who can relate and associate and bring you into the kingdom of God, into the spirit realm. So, the, and, and the way, the path there is to change your words. The path is to change what you're saying. Stop yeah. saying what you will be. It is yours now. That's right. You say, well, I don't feel healed. See, there you go. Again, you're talking about what you're feeling. Your five senses has nothing to do with the with the kingdom of God. That's right. The, the way of the world is buying and selling. But the way of the kingdom of God is sowing and reaping. That's right. You sow the word of God into anything and it will become just what you call it. Oh, come on. I better stop here. Because I tell you, this is very good, Apostle. We can stay. I could stay here till, you know, till Christmas. This word is just that good. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to make a turn here for a second, okay? Uh, We don't have the scripture 
scheduled today, but I want to bring the scripture in. Let's look at, and I love what, you, what you've been saying. Let's look at Numbers chapter 12. Numbers 12. Mm -hmm. Got it. What's and that? this is the King James. And let's look at verse 13. Okay. This is healing school, right? Mm -hmm. Numbers 12, 13 in the King James says, And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, Heal her now, O God, I beseech thee. Now pay attention that's, to words. That's verse 13. Now pay attention to words. What happened here? He's talking about Miriam. Absolutely. Miriam thought her brother needed some counseling, some marital counseling. So she and Aaron thought that they would correct Moses. And God didn't like it. I'm going to tell you why. They made a statement like, well, we can hear from God too. God uses us as well as him. Who do he think he is? He's just another man, you know, like me. Well, God didn't like that because that wasn't true. And it wasn't showing respect and honor to God, nor to Moses. Stay with me. So look what happened. And this still goes on today. Look at what happened. When Miriam made that statement, she stepped into a call that she was not called to. She stepped into Moses' God-given assignment. Pay attention to words. She stepped into Moses' God-given assignment. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. God heard him. God told Moses, well, God called for a meeting. He wanted to see Moses. He wanted to see Aaron. He wanted to see Miriam. Go get them. Bring them here. When he went and got them, God told them to come forward. Look at what happened. The Lord told them what he didn't like. He rebuked them. And when the Lord got through speaking, immediately Miriam had full-blown leprosy. It was full-blown. It wasn't in steps coming up on her. It was there. In its fullness, it was there. Now, Remember, this is Old Testament. Look what he said. Oh, God, do what? Healed her. Read it again. <clears throat> okay, Numbers. Yes, I'm going back to yeah. Numbers 12, 13, and the King James says, And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, Heal her now. O oh Lord, O oh God, I beseech thee. Heal her when? Now. Heal her now. Now, let me show you something. We don't pray that way today as New Testament's believers. Pay attention to words. O oh Lord, heal her now. Well, wait a minute. Jesus said, by his stripes, you are healed. Peter saw it, and Peter spoke on it. Peter said, by his stripes, 
you were healed. So again, why are you saying to the Lord to do something he has already done? Now, when Moses, Moses turned and he looked at Miriam again, she had this leprosy, I mean, in its fullness, it was there. And that's when Moses began to pray this. Are you ready for Thank this? The Lord. Go ahead. Okay. I Go thought ahead. you wanted me to read the response, the rest of it. And the Lord said unto Moses, verse 14, if her father had but spit in her face, shouldn't she have been ashamed seven days? So let her be shut out from the camp seven days. And after that, then receive, we'll receive her again. In other words, he said after seven days, he would heal her. Now, but and she was shut out from the camp for seven days. Yeah. And, the, and, they, and they did not move or journey until she was brought back in. Go ahead. Now, watch this. Something happened here. Mm -hmm. That leprosy left Miriam before the seven days. God honored his man, Moses. He answered the prayer. Mm -hmm. now, that is an Old Testament prayer. You and I are not in the Old Testament today. We are in the new. Isn't that right? Absolutely. So now today, born again believers, that wouldn't work for you to pray that. Well, what would work for us? I thought you might want to know. He said, do what? Decree. Decree a thing. Let's look at, uh, what is it? Job chapter 28. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Job 28 and Job 22 and 28. That's correct. And yeah, it says, you. what you decide on will be done. And light will shine on your ways. That's the NIV. Mm -hmm. And the then the king. Go, go ahead. ahead. So. <laughs> this is fun. Go ahead. No, I was just saying uh, that was the king, the NIV. And so in the uh, Job 22 and 28. In the King James, it's it's pretty much the same, but it just reads a little different. It says, thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon your ways. That's the King James. That's right. Mm -hmm. You shall, thou decree. shall decree a thing, yes. Now, look at the NIV again. Okay. So in the NIV, Job 22, 28 says, what you decide on will be done and the light will shine on your ways. What, who decide? You. What you decide. What you decide. What I decide. What we decide. Anything we decide on, it will be done. In other words, what you decree. Absolutely. Now notice, the understood subject here is you. Yes. It didn't say what your pastor, your man of God, your woman of God decree for you. Are y'all listening to me here? Are y'all listening to us? Yes. It said what you, what you decree, what you, watch this now, what you decide on. You see, uh, prophet, there are people who ask all the time, will you come in agreement with me? And there's nothing wrong with that, right? Because that's a, that's that's a New fine. Testament uh, uh, promise. Yes. But now watch this here. What am I agreeing to? What are, what are we what are we coming in agreement on? Oh, but I can't tell you that. Mm -hmm. Can you see how foolish that sounds? Yeah, it is. And then, too, I think what messes that up is we if we don't really know what belong to us already we will try to find people to pray those things uh as if like if we don't have it and we need to pray for it you don't need to get an agreement about something that already belonged to you you wouldn't have to go and say would you agree with me 
that this refrigerator is mine and it's sitting in your kitchen. Come on. Are you listening? You wouldn't have to say, yeah, ask someone to get an agreement with you about the car that's sitting in your driveway and you have the title deeds to it in your safe at home. It is already yours. You wouldn't have to get into agreement about the money that's in your bank account because it's in your bank account. It is yours. And see, that's where I believe we make a mistake. That's a new, that's a king, that's a uh, New Testament promise. We can find it right there in Matthew chapter what, 18 and verse 19. He that's said, good. if two of you in the earth shall touch and agree on anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them by the Father which is in heaven. Now that's a promise that we can all stand on. We can get into the prayer of agreement and cause things to happen in our lives. So we can see that's a real pro- that's a real promise from God, and it's still working today. But the problems that we have is we don't know what belongs to us already, and so we are asking for something that is already ours. Healing belongs to you. You don't have that's to right. get in agreement with somebody and ask somebody to get an agreement that you are healed. No, you have to decree and claim your healing. You have to take it by faith and by force because Satan's trying to steal it from you. Are you listening? So you yeah. don't have to get somebody to hold someone to hold hands with you and or even say the words with you or I agree that you are healed. No, uh, we don't have to do it like that. What we need to do is say, well, yes, if we want to get an agreement about that healing, just say, yes, I agree that what you said is true. I agree that you declared your healing and I agree with you that it is so. We can agree like that. But don't go and ask God to give you something that already be- belongs to you. See the difference? And the two people that's agreeing, here's what you say. We decree it. That it is done. We decree it. We decree it. Now, folks, this is powerful. This is a game changer. Are you listening to me? This is a big game changer. Remember the man at the gate, sitting at the gate called Beautiful? He was crippling his feet from birth. Mm -hmm. They didn't pray for him. Somebody hollered with a loud voice. Stand up right on your feet. They perceived that the man had faith to be healed. And they went and grabbed that man by the hand. Mm. And the Bible says that man leaped up and walked, leaping and doing what? Praising God. Are you listening to me? He was what? He was praising God. Now watch this here. Prophet, let's 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 look at here. Uh what does the word declare mean in the Bible. Let's look at some of those definitions there. All right, there we go. Here we go. Now, folks, you really pay attention here. You're going to love this. All right. Okay, so in the Bible, the word decree has multiple meanings. Yes. Some of them include, for example, number one, to internally purpose, to appoint, determine, and for ordained what things shall be. Mm -hmm. I'll read it again. To eternally purpose, to appoint, determine, and for ordain what things shall be. We can find that in Psalms 33.10. Yes. You have something to do. You have something to do. What what does and what does not happen in your life. Hmm. You. Pay attention. You. This is the way God, prophet, designed the system. In Ecclesiastics, oh, Chapter 4, verse 8, no, 8, Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4, it says, where the word of a king is, there is power. 
Do y'all hear that word decree we use in here? Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of the king's, a king's decree? Well, if you read Revelations chapter 1 and verse 6, you will see where the Lord made you and I kings and priests before him. Mm. Folks, you are born again. You can decree. You are. Mm. And the Bible said, Jesus is king above all of us kings. He's mm. king of kings. Folks, listen. Another place in the scripture, he says mimic him. What does mimic mean? Act like him. Do what he did. It's time to start decreeing some things. Continue, prophet. Amen. It's time to start decreeing things. I agree with you, apostle. Yes. It really is. And so the there's another one. It says, the Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to north. To north. He makes it the means devices. Zero. Yes. yes. He make it the devices of people of non effect. And oh. that is Psalms 33 10. That is Psalms 33 3, 10. Amen. He make it the devices of people non effect. That's right. And we and and that's the word of God. We can believe, we can trust that God has given that word, and that word is forever settled in the heaven. But we must first what? Believe it. Yes. And begin to what? Walk in it and receive it. I like that. Then another one example is uh to authoritatively order. See, decree means to authoritatively order. Wow. To give instructions with the backing of the law for its enforcement. Wow. And what law is it talking about? The all law of the of, word. Yes. The word all of, of heaven is backing you up. That's right. God says, not any of his word will fall to the ground and die. Mm -mm. None of it. Wow. Not one word. Folks, all of heaven is ready to back you up. Mm. It's time to decree. Come on. Mm -hmm. it, say it again. It's one. It's it time, is time to, decree. to decree. Amen. So the last one we looked at is to authoritatively order. Yes. Okay. Then there's another example. To divide. It means to divide, to separate, and destroy. In Hebrews, the definition reveals what happens in the spiritual realm. That's something that I oh, just well, began, just finished explaining. Yes. The things that's going on in this world system are quite different from the things that's happening in the uh, spirit world, in the spiritual realm. This is oh, quite yeah. different. So it says to divide, separate, and destroy. So we have to make sure that the things that we're speaking, we're speaking what God's word is in the form on the same platform in the spiritual realm. Amen. So yeah. you need to divide some things. You need to separate some things. Some things we even need to destroy with our decrees because yes. we can. That's right. But another one, it says in the Bible, God's decree is his eternal purpose to govern the universe and unite all things in Christ. Wow, and that is awesome. through us. Amen. That's why we are the body of Christ. Yes. Are y'all hear what I'm saying to you? This is why mm -hmm. he gave us, watch this here, we can do this with authority. Mm. Somebody said, well, you know, I'm just coming, Lord, I'm just coming as humble as I know how. That is not what he told you to do. Mm. You know, like you're scared, you know, you're going to get slapped because you're coming to him. Or you're going to lose your head, you know, because of who he is. Listen, he's the one who told you mm. to come boldly. Come knowing that you have the authority, you have the right to come. 
Amen. Do you see it? Amen. Speak to your body in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare that you are healed. You're not trying to get healed. You are the healed. Uh, uh, prophet, let me let me back up to something that I said about uh, Miriam. Brothers and sisters, Miriam, look what Moses said. Heal her when? Heal now. her now. You and I can't go to God talking about heal somebody now because he didn't already, they already healed. <laughs> Do you see it? They are already healed. It's the devil want to keep lying to you and don't want you to know who you are in Christ, what you can do in Christ, and what you have in Christ. You see what I'm saying to you? Absolutely. He is the one who wants you to, well, I'm just coming, just as humble as I know how. That is not what God told you to do. Do what he told you to do. This is why Hosea 4 and 6 says what it says. My people are what? Destroyed for a lack of what? Knowledge. Knowledge. They didn't know they can decree. But yet the scripture tell you, talking about Jesus, as he is, listen what it said about you. As he is, so are we, watch this here, not when we go to heaven one day, not in a sweet by and by, no, 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 no. Right here in the now and now, as he is, it says, so are we in this world. As he is. Somebody said, well, oh, man, I, I, I can't believe that. Well, you know, ain't nobody perfect but Jesus. Let me ask you a question. Are you not a new creature in Christ? Mm. Second Corinthians chapter five and verse 17 says, you are. If any man, any woman be in Christ, what are they? They are a new creature. They are a new species of being. Old things are what? Passed away. Old things are passed away. Mm. And all things are become what? New. Mm. You are just like Jesus right now. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to get your mind renewed. You got to stop wearing the glasses, the eyeglasses of the world and put on those spiritual glasses. What do I mean? Put on the spiritual glasses. Focus in on what the words say. Keen on and in on what the words say. He told you who you are. He told you this is what he did. And the scripture plainly tell you. The father testified for Jesus. He said, this is my beloved son in who I'm well pleased in. Hear him. Listen to him. You need to hear what he said. Folks, if you ever get confused as a born again believer, grab your Bible and read the red stuff. If, any, if anybody know, wouldn't you say it's Jesus prophet? Oh, yes, I would. Oh, he knows. Say, Go ahead. He knows. He knows. Well, let's throw in a few others. This one here is very interesting. Uh, another example of God's decree in the Bible. It includes this. The stability of the universe mm -hmm. and the free acts of human beings. Yes. Now, that's something uh -huh, we can pause on and think for a moment. Come on. God's decree in the Bible means, it includes rather, the stability of the universe. You know, this is why people look at us like we're crazy when bad weather is threatening to come our way and we begin to declare and decree and command it to go somewhere else. Because we know that that's something we can do because we can declare and decree stability where Come we on. live you Come can on. do the same thing where you live are you listening you can but if you are not going to speak to that wind and that rain and the earthquakes and the whatever is you know the situation right. is in the part of the world where you live yeah. you're just going to let it do you know what it does then you will have you will continue to have that but you have the power on the inside of you to stabilize the universe Say that again. You have, the, 
you have the ability on the inside of you to stabilize the universe. Yes, you with do. your decrees and declarations. Come on. And it also says the free acts of human beings. You you know, you no one has authority over you. God made you, to, he made man to rule and reign over the earth. And when that's when it says man, that's mankind. Rule over the earth, not over one another. Yep. Are you listening to me? I heard yep. a great person of God say this. If you don't control your own body and your own life, some man will come along and try to. Are you yeah. listening? Because it's in their nature to do that. That's what Satan wants his bunch to do, to run roughshod over you, to make you afraid and fear. Listen, child of God, you have nothing to fear but fear itself. Are you That's listening? Right. The Bible says fear no man. You fear God. You don't fear other people. You don't men and women. You don't do that. That's right. And anybody that's coming along and trying to make you afraid of them, you need to make sure you understand who your father is and what he has said about that. You'll find three in the Bible of uh, fear is mentioned 365 times. And one man of God said that's one for every day. It's called fear not. It's that's 365 right. times in your Bible. Well, he said, fear not. That's good. And if you applied one to every day of your world and your life, there yeah. would be nothing you would ever fear. So see the universe and the free acts of human beings. And we're not talking about acts that's going to hurt someone else. We're talking about your will being free, you being free to live according to your own will in your own way. Then the next one, it says, the word decree comes from the Latin word, and it's called, it's decree. Decretum, it's D E C R E T U M, which is the past participle of the word discerner, D E C E R N E R, and yep. it means to decide. Are you listening? It means right. discerner means to decide. That's so you right. see, there you have. Now these are Greek words, and this is the meaning of that word. That one little word, decree. That's what we've been looking at to authorize to 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 um, bring things into make existence to bring things to naught <laughs> you and know to make things of not affect you know That's and right. this this is why you have it and to authoritatively order to divide to separate you have that word in right. your vocabulary we all have it but when you mix it with faith when you mix it with faith coming from that born again recreated human spirit that's on the inside of you you will you will see things move and change yes. amen uh pastor and i came out of a storm one time and when we left we had we were we were ordered to leave we had it was mandatory evacuation and we began to speak to our property before we left and we declared what we wanted to see when we came back and what we, what we said was, we set the angels of God over this house, not only the house, over the property. We declare and decree nothing will happen to this house. It will be standing just the way we left it when we return it. And do you know that storm was that hurricane, rather? It was a hurricane. Y'all remember Katrina, don't you? We were there in Louisiana when Katrina, when Katrina had and we spoke to our property. I am a person, for some reason, I love to see a dining room table set at all times. It's just something, a little, you know, pet peeve of mine. And I do that. If you were to come to my home right now, my dining room say, table is 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 formally dressed. Yeah. For, it, it, it looks like we're about to have dinner, a formal dinner, sit down dinner. But I just leave it like that all the time. I say it all that to say this. That table was dressed the same way when we left in that hurricane and it was dressed the same way when we got back. Are you listening? That's the only right. thing that happened to that house was a shingle or something flew off. Other than that, guys, I'm telling you, we spoke to it. We declared and decreed what we wanted. And I believe, and I thank God today, we saw exactly what we asked for, what we declared, what we decided on, because that's what decree is. You decide. But you see, you have to open your mouth. Yeah. And you have to say it. You have to decree it. Oh, my. So we have some other scriptures here. Let's look at a few of those if we have time. Let's look at about two more before we go to the phone. Matthew 18 
and 18 and 20 in the Amplified. This is coming from the Amplified. Matthew 18, verses 18 through 20. In the Amplified, it says, Truly I tell you, whatever you forbid and declare to be improper and unlawful on the earth must be what is already forbidden in heaven. And whatever you permit and declare proper and lawful on earth must be what is already permitted in heaven. Again, I tell you, if two of you on earth agree, harmonize together, make a symphony together about whatever, about anything, about everything, they may ask, it will come to pass and be done by the Father in heaven. Verse 20 says, and whatever two or three are gathered together, drawn together as my followers in and into my name, Hmm. there I am in the midst of them. What a powerful, powerful passage. Look at that. If we if we didn't go anywhere else, Apostle, we could eat off of this all all day. You know, I tell Absolutely. you, whatever you forbid, what, you know, it's like he said, if you for, if you if you allow it, I'm gonna allow it too. That's, That's a right. scripture for that, Apostle. Well, remember you, we share that sometimes. God said, "Would you allow? I'm going to allow." Yeah, truly, I tell you, yeah, you probably whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. Another translation says it this way. What you decide on will be done for you and light will shine on your way. What you decide, what you decide, Mm -hmm. do y'all see it? Absolutely. All right. So we we have that promise from God. And he's saying, truly, I tell you, whatever you forbid and whatever you declare to be improper, you know, it's going to happen. You know, it it must be what is already uh, declared unlawful uh, in heaven. What is is unlawful in heaven? See, what is unlawful uh, in heaven? A thief is not allowed in heaven. He can steal nothing in heaven. The word of God is the ruling authority in heaven. So if That's the right. word of God is ruling in heaven, he said, well, if it's ruling here, it can rule there in your life. But you still have to declare and decree. That's right. Are you listening? That's and right. he says, what already, what is already forbidden in heaven and whatever you permit and declare proper and lawful on the earth must be what is already permitting, permitted in heaven. What is That's permitted in heaven? Huh? You, you got to understand, we have to find out. That's where you're going to say, I don't know. Let me find out what is permitted in heaven. God has given you, you got to understand now. This is when we begin to study the Bible. When we see, we run into all these different promises from God. It, it excites us. I don't know about you, but it excites me. And it makes me want to dig further. It makes me want to know more. And so Probably. I study more. And then I run into things like how I'm created. Wait a minute now. What do you mean how I'm created? How, how I'm programmed. Well, if we go over into Mark 11, you find out you are programmed to have exactly what you said. Did you know that? That's right. You are programmed to have exactly what you said. Well, I didn't know that. Well, now you do. And that's what he's talking about. When he said, what is lawful on the earth must be what is already permitted in heaven. What's permitted in heaven? I'm permitted to have whatever I say. Oh, my God, you didn't say that. Upon yes, I did. <laughs> he said, you are permitted to have whatever you say. And that's you right. will have what you say. That's right. You will have what you say. And that's why you. it's so important that you find out that you can decree a thing. Oh, come on now. Are you listening? I hope you're being blessed by this. Glory to Jesus. And, but this yeah. is the word of God. This is not that's Larry right. and Helen Elder. This is the word of God. And again, he said in 19, I tell you, if two of you on earth harmonize together, so you can get somebody and say, well, that's what I was sharing with you earlier. Well, you know, I'm going to declare and decree that my body is healed. Well, you get somebody harmonized and agree, and agree with you about that. That's all that you want them to say. You don't want them to say, come on and, and, and agree with me. So as once I go and beg God for my healing, no, 
I'm going to decree and declare you are my witness. You can witness this for me. Uh, a great man of God, Charles Capsi, went and got all his bills one day, every bill in the house. Yeah. Laid them out on the table. Once he got a hold of the word of God, once he began right. to understand the word of God, laid all his bills out on the table. Because <laughs> he found out what God said, you can have what you say. And that radiated. That, that you know, kind of like went into his heart, into his spirit. He believed you, God, for that promise. And he yes. went and got his daughter. He said, come here. Hey, Annette, come here. I want you to witness this. In other words, you, you're going to testify to this. You're going to harmonize with me about it. That's right. And he began to speak to every one of those bills. Yes, and he, he did. said, in the name of Jesus, I declare and decree that you are paid in full. And he paid did it with full. the next one. I declare and decree in the name of Jesus. I call you paid in full. In the name of Jesus, I declare and decree you are paid in full. You are paid in full. Right. And he went down the list to all of them. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yeah. And then he put a time frame on it in a year's time. And then do you know by in a year's time, all those bills were paid? All of them were paid. That's right. Don't tell yeah. me what you can do if you know what you have. Come on now. Hello? If you Come know, on. see, and that's what it means. You know, people quote that scripture, you know, uh, you know, uh, I d d submit my, you know, resist the devil and he'll flee. No, you have to first submit yourself to God before That's you right. can resist the devil. They yeah. leave the top part of that scripture out. And then they say this. I know the truth. And, you know, they say the truth makes me free. Well, that's not too, true either. It's the truth that, you know, makes you free. Yeah. Hello. See, if you don't know this, that you can go get all your bills and lay them out on the table and talk to them and tell them to disappear. I declare if you don't know that, you won't do that. Will you? Absolutely. <laughs> but see, because you know it now and you're, you're seeing it in the word of God and you have faith for it, because the Bible says we have faith for the word where where there's a foundation from the word of God, we can have faith for that. We can believe for that. I, I, I uh, Larry and I don't have any anything to give you proof where we're saying it's going to happen if we're not basing it on the word of God. We don't have that in ourselves, but we have it in the word of God. And this is why when we teach, we always show it to you in the word so you can leave the, the meetings in your own, in the comfort of your home, in your own spare time and go back over it. You can go over to the, to the podcast and you yes. can go and listen and make us yeah. back it up and make us say it again. Here. You can That's listen. Right and listen and listen again you're going to find that these promises in the word of god will work for you if you will work them. that's right amen you will find that they will work for anyone who will work them now this is the word of god he said what well, is already permitted in heaven you can make it happen right here in the earth if it's already done in heaven you can make it right here on earth but it that's has true. to your part is you must declare and decree it. Yes. That's right. I know we're out of time, so I'm going to stop here. Praise God. Pastor. Well, Prophet, this is, I lost words for what this is. My God. <laughs> Amen. This Lord is, it. this yeah, is, is you, can, you can decree your healing and you can decree your finances. We've Folks, been covering healing today. Yes. This is a game changer. You can turn your whole entire life around by the authority in the name of Jesus. I want to encourage you right now. Decree that you are healed in the name of Jesus. How do you do that? Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Release your faith. Speak it. And then do something you couldn't do before. Do something you couldn't do before. Glory to Jesus. I said glory to Jesus. Prophet, this is a real game changer. Amen.